Hey everybody and welcome back. So I am on the Predwin and heading to CL the Maxin. Maxin, Maxin, Ma Maxin. And uh, hand in this Dr. Lee quest. I'm not going to side with the Brotherhood, but it's good that I haven't pissed them off because I can get XP from them. And I've never done a lot of the quests for the Brotherhood, so that's, that's kind of new to me. How cooperative do you think she'll be? Will she be harmed if she doesn't cooperate? Absolutely not. We have big plans for Dr. Lee, including the resurrection of one of her greatest creations. The last thing we'd want to do is kill the Golden Goose. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much, I think, where my allegiance to the Brotherhood ends, maybe. Because I'm not handing over that tape. Uh, right, so, yeah, I could go there. I'm curious, actually, I'm going to drop by Vault 81 briefly. Just to see, because I know that's like, if I give it some time, a quest starts there. So, just going to head back now and see what I can do. Because I want to, I want to get a companion like Nick. That isn't, um... Uh, has an, has no allegiance then to any of the other factions in the game, because as the bunker as, as the Battle of Bunker Hill proved, it's not good to have anyone like that around me at this point in the game, because I will be pissing people off quite regularly now. So yeah. I do kind of like the fact that they just don't bother closing that door now. They just leave it open. Okay, you go and see the overseer. Chances are that they're, they're, there's nothing for me to do here as of yet, but. Only one way to find out. The work never ends in Vault 81. I don't know about you, but I can't stand to see any of those young men. Oh. This might be promising. You, you're back. I'm not sure if you've spoken to Dr. Forsyth yet, but if you haven't, we really need your help. One of the children here is very ill. He's been bitten by some creature, and we need someone with good combat training to help him. Someone who knows the creatures of the Commonwealth. I'd like for you to please speak to Dr. Forsyth. He can give you the details. Why me? You have security. Our security knows how to point and shoot, but when it comes to real combat, they have no experience. Maybe we could handle raiders or gunners, but these creatures, we wouldn't know where to begin. Please, we need your help. I'll go see him immediately. Thank you. Dr. Forsyth should be in the medical center. Okay. I need a... He's looking pretty bad mm. in there. Okay, not that one. What... What caliber round does the Overseer's Guardian use? 45. <coughs> All right, so I'll go. And I'll go to the little mini shop they got going here. Hi. Anything I can get you today? Let's see what you got. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Let's see if they've got any forty-five ammo. 
I hope they do. Ah, they do. Cool. Yeah, I don't really have much to sell, do I? Okay, let's go and see the doctor. I'll turn this off for now. Beside herself since that boy got dead. Back again? We'll be watching you. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some real time off. Where is downstairs? Yeah. Could not remember where the clinic was then. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. Can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected. Doctor Forsythe. Not now, Bob. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully, she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying? Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Doctor Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Why is it none of these people are actually talking to me? They're all just <laughs> looking at each other and I'm just like, yep, fine. Ignorant. Can't talk? Okay. Security's too tight. Now it's time to shoot my way through the vault. Actually, no, I'm going to go over to the other one. Overseer's Guardian. Uh, 
Though I am not actually expecting to run into heavy opposition here. Well, that wasn't bad. That was a pretty quick level up. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been coughing a lot today, I don't know why. I think I got a little chest infection coming along, maybe. Not that, you know, you guys needed to know that, but if the mic cuts out every now and then, it's probably because I'm started coughing. Uh, okay. Lab mole rat. Okay. Huh. Ah. Yep, I wasn't wrong. This is turning out to be pretty easy.
are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. There you go. But over no It's for the good of the wall. You can't risk this pathogen spreading really? on the force island. Yes. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We uh. Yeah, no idea what's going on here. Or how how my character would know where to go, but what the hell? Gotta find the terminal. Okay. So, yeah, that had nothing to do with the cords to that door. Aha! Uh -huh. Hopefully that's the password I need, not just some random password or something else. Yes. <coughs> no. Oh, another stranger. Are you Voltaire? 
contact security. I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR, I. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they called me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Voltec Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others, and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault Tech security? Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please, tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Why can't you just leave? I require verbal or written authorization. Actually, any Voltec employee, even you, could authorize me. You must be Voltec, or you couldn't possibly be here. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Vault 81 cure. HP and 80%? Uh, that, um, that doesn't sound like it's very useful. Value 400 though. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. We must consult the professors at the university. They could provide any answers. Yes? So I assume... Oh, there you go. I was like, yeah, did she just spawn up there? But nope, they just teleport into the elevator. It's good to have questions, I guess. <laughs> I wonder how Ebola has mutated. Okay. Katie Finn is a teacher here in 81. You just stop by her class. She's big on learning. The cure. You found it. How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? 
I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you in the turn. It shouldn't be long. place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the surrender. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I, I hope you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangerous vault tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. What do you know about vault tech? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault for the walls that protected us over two centuries. But not once have I had contact with them. Whatever vault had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system, and without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses, or bacteria, it is quite dull, medically speaking. The world up there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude, but I must ask. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Uh, they can go back to Sanctuary Hills. <coughs> Alright, I better get going. Actually, you know what I might do is, uh, I'm gonna call it a day here, because I've pretty much done this quest, which is what I wanted to do in this episode. Unintentionally. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. In the next episode, I'm thinking I might do the old guns quest at the castle, and then carry on then with the main story, the main quest line again, uh, which will require me to go to. Well, I'm going to do that quest for the railroad and get those 13 synths out, or at least lay the groundwork for that, and then carry on with the... So I've got a few things I need to do in the next few episodes. Hope you're all enjoying the walkthrough so far. Hope you're enjoying the commentary. Uh, I try not to speak in certain areas, like when during conversations and whatnot. Because, you know, I don't like it when... <laughs> I don't like it when people do that uh, in the commentaries and whatnot myself. I'm trying to listen to like what's being spoken and they're just talking over it. So I try to avoid that when possible. I hope you're enjoying the walkthrough. If you could leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. The subscribe icon should be popping up on the screen at some point in the end screen here. For now though, 
that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you take care and have a great day.